and welcome to All My Art and Soul. I'm Michelle Holden and this week's video is a book cover for the 20 of Earth and Sky abstract art journaling pages. And as you can see, these are the scrapbook pages that I chose. I love the neutral with black. And uh, here you can see that I've been using the heavier watercolor pages for this series. Um, I just grabbed it just to try the thickness of the paper versus the mixed media, which is slightly lighter in weight. And I really like this one, but I have a feeling that the mixed media uh, is less susceptible to the tape sticking to it. And uh, if you've been following along, uh, I hope you have been getting a chuckle out of all of my tape uh, tearing off issues. <laughs> They're sort of funny. Uh, at least now I think so. So I've just used a heavy gloss uh, medium to stick down the uh, large page. Um, it seems to be the exact length so I didn't have to fold over the top and bottom edges but just the one on the side. I chose this cover because of its neutral tone and of course as I said earlier I like the black patterns on it. I think yeah these are sort of like plus signs or what, however you want to name the symbol. Repeated patterns are really interesting and um, as I'm doing this right now, gluing it down, I'm thinking of, okay, what would really be interesting? I want a combination of collage, um, rough, spontaneous brush strokes, black, white, as you can see in my palette, on my palette on the right. And um, I'm just finishing sealing it up and then I'm going to proceed. Now on the side, as you can see that I'm pointing, I have painted um, the rest of the blue that's showing in a black. It's a little tricky because you have to use a thin brush and move in and around the coils. The paint does get on there, but after it dries, you can rub it off with a paper towel. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that at this stage, but later on I might do so. This paper that I'm crumpling right now before I tear it, um, I don't know if it was a type of packing paper or a type of wrapping paper, but it has a slight stretch to it. And um, so what I've done to it uh, earlier is just did that writing, that stream writing across in cursive. So here's the black that I've decided to just put down with a palette knife just because I just prefer not to have brush strokes at this point and using the brayer to even out the layer as I've said before it helps it dry a lot more quickly and then it's making it a little more even um, looking at it now I think I would have preferred it to be a little more spontaneous, like stopped a little earlier, but that's okay. So I like how this is torn. I'm going to be using the high gloss, golden, uh, heavy bodied gel. And then I'm putting it on and something does occur. I think I, I wet my brush or something to that effect where water, a little more water gets on the center part where the writing is. And this particular paper really absorbs it. Oh, I do it with my cloth because I'm wiping it. And then it soaks right through. And then I thought, uh-oh, and that's how I'm pointing it right now. So I decided to just tear another piece and lie it right on top. And I really like that effect. And I think I've done this, I did this uh, 
This happened in an earlier video. I forget which one. And it's just really, really cool. Shape on shape, uh, the darker edge, just a subtle difference. I really, really like that. And so I really like this effect, uh, especially uh, how the writing overlaps and slightly is disconnected. It's almost like a fracture. Um, this is the dot collage that I really love. And I seem to like the ones where they're, they're not perfect. And I love the placement of this in the center of the page. Um, later on, I do decide to use a little bit of white paint over the dots to subdue the contrast. And you, could, you can also warm up the white a little bit with uh, transparent nickel azo gold or some ochre, any warm, uh, warm color would, would do that would uh, be similar to the background, but not exactly the same. Uh, the piece I'm tearing right now is newsprint paper, uh, which I keep to the side when I'm working on all my pieces. And I haven't been using newsprint paper lately, but I think I'll go back to it because I like the way it ages uh, along with the paint. That, you know, it doesn't matter what color, it's just leftover colors, and you can just roll that on there. And it also gets thick and creates a texture, just like that black and yellow one. And the edges remain a little more empty. So it depends where you want to tear it uh, to use it. And as you can see, these dots aren't straight, they're, they're crooked, and I just really love them. This is the yellow oxide. It's not a yellow ochre. It's a little stronger in yellow, and I love it. And I'm mixing it with a little Titan buff. And then, of course, scoring through it with the end of a brush just to break that up. Um, I decide to use a palette knife here, I believe. And I think I'm going to come in with even a lighter value. So this palette that I'm using for the cover is very simple. It's just black, neutral, yellow oxide, white, a little bit of tight and buff. And I just said, let's just put it right on top because I know that this looks good with it. And I'm scumbling uh, with the side of the brush. So I've used uh, the Brayer use a direct brush with scoring through it and a third different uh, is scumbling with the brush on top and I love how I left the edges I didn't overdo it and my overlapping circles again this uh, tool is um, uh, let's see is the same uh, product as the one I'm using now and um, but it's just a different, different style and it works great for smaller areas. So I didn't, I didn't want to leave the circle scores that clear. So just subduing it, making little subtle changes and then having that white circle on top, which is just a slightly lighter value than the Titan buff seemed to finish it off. And later on, as you can see the circle on the top part of it, isn't quite as strong. I think I fill that in with a little bit of white with the brush. And yes, so my trusty cardboard. So as you can see, I'm using the wedge to just spread the black. And if you want it just slightly, you have to be careful not to put it on too thick. Um, because, and if you want that mess, that sort of impromptu look that looks great too so I'm just putting it in the center looking at it now this looks great too sort of an oval shape but then I decide to continue with them and yeah both would have worked they both work and just to finish it off uh, there was a little piece of gold metallic, I believe, and a little moon shape.
there it is, hiding. And why I believe this works so well is that it's the similar value as the ochre, you can see, or the yellow oxide, and you can see where it, it tells you where it's gonna fit. So I've got, of course, the trusty um, Q-tips on a cylinder, just some random dots, a different size, so I'm thinking differences here. And um, I'm going to put that little gold piece in, and then I'm going to put the lines back over it so it's underneath the layer, so it's not sticking out. Yeah, not happy with the shape, so I just trim it, make it a little uh, more um, narrow. And you can see I just go over slowly and it, it reads exactly where it wants to be. And that's uh, of equal value. Nope, it's not gonna work up there. It works right here. And then a few more lines right on top. Beautiful. So, there's also acrylic inks that I absolutely love. And I think I'm done here, but I decide to add some gold acrylic ink right here. And uh, I don't know what happened to the top, but I've taped it so the air doesn't get in, so that seems to work. But uh, the suction top um, isn't quite working as well as it should, but that's okay. And I just wanted to finish it off it was just speaking to me in a, in a, in a different value, a, a metallic. And then um, I don't want to leave them as dots, more as drips for extra interest. And um, one drip gets a little too long, so I wipe it. And you need to be careful not to have a rag so moist, especially working with collage, depending on the paper. So I decide to stop while I'm ahead and I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be more of Earth and Sky to come and I'll see you in the next one.